Salutations, and welcome to the Tenergy channel, where we explore power products. In today's video, we're going to talk about rechargeable 18650 batteries. These batteries look like oversized AA batteries, but are not as common. So we'll help you find the right replacement battery if you discover one in a tactical flashlight or electronic device. Let's get started by finding out what are 18650 batteries. 18650 batteries are a lithium ion rechargeable battery with a nominal voltage of 3.6 or 3.7 volts. The battery's name comes from the dimension, which are 18 millimeters in diameter and 65 millimeter in height. You'll find 18650 batteries in a wide range of high drain devices such as flashlights, power banks, or even electric cars, thanks to the reliable features, which include high density, long run time, low self discharge, and a large number of life cycles. And because of their popularity, they have many variants that you can choose from. It can cause confusion sometimes, but don't worry. We'll break down their differences to help you pick the right one for your device. The first time to differentiate them is their capacity, often labeled as MAH or milliamp hour. The higher the capacity means there's more energy stored inside the battery and more energy means more runtime on your device. 18650 batteries currently have a capacity ranging from 2000 milliamp hour to 3500 milliamp hour. Here are some examples of 18650 batteries with different capacities. This one has 2200 milliamp hour. This one has 2600 milliamp hour. And this one has the highest capacity, which is 3,500 milliamp hour. So if you want your device to last longer, you want to select an 18650 batteries with a higher capacity. However, you'll also need to pay attention to the continuous discharge current of the battery. In some cases, a higher capacity may have a lower discharge current than a lower capacity battery. And if your device requires a high current input, you'll have no choice but to select the lower capacity ones. And that brings us to the next difference among 18650 batteries, which is the maximum continuous discharge current. It's important to buy batteries that provide the same amount or more current than your device needs. Using a lower current rating battery will cause it to overheat because the battery has to work harder than it can handle. For example, the table here shows the maximum current for 18650 batteries. And if your device requires 5 amp continuous input, your option would be these batteries. 18650 batteries have two slightly different types and sizes. One is a flat top and one is a button top. As you can see here, the positive contact of the flat top battery is flat, while the positive contact of the button top protrudes a little. Because of this, the button top battery is slightly higher than the flat top battery. A majority of 18650 power devices should be compatible with these two types of batteries, especially those that have a compression spring in their battery compartment. However, when in doubt, you can either look at the previous battery in your device or check the battery's dimension before purchasing to confirm if it'll fit. Another difference among 1860 batteries is whether they include a protection circuit board, or as they're commonly known, PCB. So when buying batteries, you'll have two choices between batteries that have a PCB built in and a bare cell battery, which do not have a PCB. A battery with PCB has a small electronic circuit board built into the battery, which monitors the parameter of the battery to prevent some potential problems such as overdraining, short circuiting, or overheating. A bare cell battery doesn't have a built-in PCB, so they risk running into over-discharging, overcharging, and overheating issues. You'll have to pay extra attention and care when choosing these batteries because lithium iron 18650s are very powerful cells and can cause real damage if not used properly. But without a PCB, they are slightly shorter in size and cheaper compared to batteries with a PCB. We recommend choosing a battery with a PCB over a bare cell battery, especially if you're new to 18650 batteries and are using them in devices like tactical flashlights. They may cost more, but the peace of mind is worth the price. Moving on to the next difference. There are two charging options to recharge 18650 batteries, which is either using a charger or having a battery with a built-in micro USB port. If you have just a few 18650 batteries and don't use them often, it may be a better idea to buy batteries that have a built-in micro USB ports to recharge, like this one or this one. This way, you don't need to buy an extra charger. Just connect it to a micro USB to USB cable and let it recharge. Most of the time, for those who use a lot of 1860 batteries though, it'll be more convenient to buy batteries and the chargers separately and to charge them all at the same time. For some chargers, like this one, you can also select different charge current and check the battery's capacity, which is not possible with batteries that have a built-in micro USB port. And that's all for today. I hope this video can help you learn more about 1860 batteries 
and find out which one is right for your project. If you have any questions or video suggestions, please leave them down in the comment section. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.